Welcome back to the three months of modal logics with Carnades.org. We're continuing our sequel to the 100 days of logic with types of deontic contradictions. In this video, our main goal is going to be to split up and explain the difference between the omissibility of contradictions axiom and the deontic non-contradiction axiom. So... The last two axioms we added to our deontic system, omissibility of contradictions and deontic non-contradiction, may seem to be similar or even the same, but there are important differences between these two axioms. If you want to try, try to prove one from the other or vice versa. You're not actually going to be able to. And you can look carefully at these two definitions and see if you can guess what the important differences are going to be. So the omissibility axiom claims that we cannot make any contradiction obligatory. We cannot require to do some, someone to do something that is impossible. This omissibility axiom is going to rarely be controversial because it's rare for us to think that a single obligation can obligate us both to do and not do something. That doesn't seem to be problematic. However... The DNC, on the other hand, claims that we cannot separately obligate both P and obligate not P. The key difference is going to be in the scope of the obligation predicate. In one case, obligation is over both P and not P at the same time, or any other contradiction. And in the other case, the obligations are separate. Obligation is over P and obligation is over not P. And so while the omissibility rule is rarely contested, there's actually a great deal of debate around the deontic non-contradiction axiom because you may end up in a situation where you have two separate conflicting obligations and people might argue that such situations should be admitted into our deontic logic however the omissibility rule where you just are obligating a contradiction at face on face value is going to be problematic because few people are going to say that we're going to need to obligate contradictions flat out because you can't really obligate something that is impossible to do. But there might be situations where you might have one obligation as well as another separate obligation. We're going to delve into this a little bit more when we look at some paradoxes, hopefully in the future, for deontic logic. But for now, understand that they're different rules, they can't be proven from each other, and we need to take them as separate axioms. Omissibility, less controversial. Deontic non-contradiction, more controversial. All right, up next, we're going to be giving an official definition of our standard deontic logic, also sometimes known as SDL. Watch a new video every single day for three months here at Carnades.org, and stay skeptical, everybody.